Today we've got a very interesting iron comparison, comparing four irons that are kind of between the players and players distance category. I'm with Jackie today, she'll hit some shots and we'll compare on TrackMan. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the Second Swing Golf. Today I'm joined by Jackie Johnson, Master Club Fitter here at Second Swing. And today we have a comparison of four irons that are kind of between the player's iron and player's distance iron. Uh, a kind of a variety of club heads here. Um, but Jackie, there have been, they've all been kind of pretty popular here in the fitting bays at Second Swing. So uh, what do we think about this test? Because we've got TaylorMade P770, we've got Shrixon ZX7, we have Titleist T100S, then we have the Callaway Apex Pro. So a lot of kind of what people think of player's irons, but they're also a lot stronger, I think, than most player's irons. So what do you think about this kind of category here? Yeah, I think, you know, there's more people that would fit into these than you might think. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, pretty good ball strikers uh, are going to be more in this category, yeah. right? It, there's not as much forgiveness as, say, you know, when you talk about, like, the P790 or, like, the T200 or the Callaway just Apex mm -hmm. or uh, the ZX5, right? So they're just a little bit less forgiving, but definitely more workability. And for those players that can work the ball and, and want that, this is a really good option. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you think uh, they're, they're, it's, it's all about the shaping when it comes to the, those pieces, that workability and that kind of control. So, you know, you talk about P770, it's basically a P790, but with that smaller shape. Yeah. Uh, so kind of the same materials built in there. Um, and then you go to like the T100S, which is the T100, but just kind of a little bit stronger. And then there's kind of that muscle channel in there as well. So there's, there's elements of control and workability with all of them. But I, I just think they go, they just travel a little bit farther than kind of those, that actual player's iron category. Um, whether that's due to loft, whether that's due to the kind of the technology within the club head. So I'm curious to see how these all perform because they're all pretty similar in loft. And then as you can maybe detail here, uh, the, the shafts we have too are all kind of their stock regular flex graphite shafts here. Yeah, the gram weight and all these are between 60 and 65, so very similar. Um, you know, you got the MMT and the TaylorMade P770, the KBS Max and the uh, ZX7, and then the Tensai uh, AV Series 60 and the Apex Pro, and then the Tensai Red, uh, regular flex in the T100S. Okay, so they're all relatively similar kind of profiles there. Um, I think we can hit six shots with each club here. We'll get for sure five good ones with each. Look at the data, see what the, the data tells us. But I'm curious about this category here to see how they compare. Yeah, let's go. Thin. Yeah, but should be okay, yeah. That works. Oh yeah, that was good. Good one? Yeah, that was center contact on that one. Wow. Oh, that was the highest ball speed so far. Yep. All right, Jackie, T100S, um, wanted to get your feedback on how that looks and feels. That one's also 32 degrees of loft. So we've got two models that are 32 degrees of loft. That's the ZX7 and T100S. Then the Apex Pro and P770 are 33. So a minor discrepancy in loft, but pretty similar overall. What do you think about that one after uh, five shots up there? Well, yeah, I mean, the, the look is sleek. It looks like a blade. Mm -hmm. So I love the look of it for sure. Um, feel was awesome. I mean, the first shot I hit with it was kind of like a chunk pull, but ended up being fine. Like I, yeah. you know, it wasn't overall too bad. So the forgiveness in this, you know, there's still some forgiveness in here. Right. Mm -hmm. So, um, that was good to see. Uh, it, I mean, it felt a lot like my T200 I currently play. Uh, okay. so, so the feel, that's actually interesting that you say that because I know in, in testing, we've noticed the sound is very different between yeah. the T100 or T100S and the T200. The sound is very different. So interesting that you note that the feel was pretty similar there. 
so to clarify, we have five, we have, we hit, you hit six shots, we've got the five best up here. Um, and here's what the averages look like there. Carry of 128.4, total 138.8, spin right around 5,300. So, I mean, there's kind of the, the baseline to start with here, from, set by T100S from your testing. So, I mean, do you hit, think you hit the ball pretty good there? Uh, I mean, I know you had the, the one miss kind of early on, but. Yeah, I mean, uh, there was probably two that, like, were maybe a little thin. Mm -hmm. But overall, like, yeah, I, I like the feel of I mean, it. I'm not surprised I like the feel of it. I mean, right. I've been hitting Titleist irons, like, yeah, my yeah. whole life, so. I mean, it's, I mean, you hit all of them pretty darn straight here. Yeah. So that's also worth noting. But, um, okay, next iron will go to Strixon ZX7 here. Oh, that'll work. Yeah. That's a good one. A little fat, but straight. Better. Yeah, that might be the highest ball speed today. Yeah. 147 yards. Eh. Tad thin, maybe? Off the toe. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Jackie, this is Strixon ZX7. Um, we've got five of your six uh, shots up on the screen right now. What do you think about that one? Um, tell me about the feel. Tell me about how that club looks as well. Yeah, I mean, the club head itself looks, I, I like the look of the club head. Very mm -hmm. similar to um, the T100S, but maybe just a little bit thicker on the top line. Okay. Um, do not like the shaft. <laughs> That's the first thing. I think part of the reason why I maybe wasn't as consistent with it is just like the lack of confidence with just the feel of the shaft. So that, okay. So good to know for the comparison, right? Yeah. Like we had different shaft in that, but. It felt stiffer and like boardy compared to like the Tensai Red or, okay. yeah. So. Just, yeah, I don't Something know. to note. I mean, that's, where yeah. that's worth noting. So, in a sense, then, it's not like this. This dispersion circle is not indicative of just ZX7 club head. Um, so, but to note, you did hit your farthest shot of the day so far with the highest ball speed of the day so far at 98.2. Yeah. yeah, that one so felt really great. connected on that yeah. one. Uh, and just said, whatever reason, like you said, couldn't quite connect on a couple of these other ones. But, um, all right. So, now move on to the Apex Pro here. That felt good. That sounded, yeah. Going higher, for sure. A little bit more loft. Yep. Yeah, the sound is. Those are both hit really well. Yeah. Sound is different. Yes, very different. It's like a loud whistle. I don't, I think. Yeah, it, it, yeah. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's what it sounds like. We are connecting with this one for sure. Wow, another good one. What's up? What's wow. Yeah. So, the Apex Pro, um, we haven't even actually removed a shot yet because I'm not really sure which one to remove here. But you got four right next to each other here yeah. that are on the center line. So, I suppose this is kind of the one to take out. Um, number 17, even though, I mean, looking at, I mean, goodness yeah. gracious, Apex Pro. So, I noticed a difference in sound. That sound was loud, it was crashy, it was not it was very different in the first two yeah I, i'm not a fan of the sound yeah. personally but the feel and the look of it yeah so I, how did it feel because uh, what can you know i know a lot of people say feel is sound sound is feel but how no, what do you think of that the feel was like i don't know soft i, I would okay. say that it felt a lot like the t100s um honestly maybe just a little bit softer like it felt like it had more a little bit more forgiveness okay. is how i would you felt it, like you had more forgiveness. Okay. Yeah. But um, 
because the, the sound is very different. Yeah, it was. I mean, you had kind of that soft kind of thud almost with the first two ZX7 200S, and this one just was, it was, I mean, you could hear it in your ears. It was kind of like ringing a little bit, but clearly a step up in performance for you. 97 ball speed, which is comfortably higher. Uh, spin was actually relatively similar, right? But you added four yards carry distance, um, and it was so consistent. I mean, look at that dispersion right there. Yeah. Four of those six shots that you hit were essentially, I mean, feet away from each other here. So, I, I mean, is there a, a le an element of confidence there, or what, what? Maybe what was? Is there something that you can point to that was like, yeah, I was hitting this club way better, or is it just? I think it felt better than mm -hmm. like the ZX7. Like okay. I was just making better contact, so I just I also felt that like I had more confident swings in okay. that series of, of hits for sure. Yeah. Uh, so that could have contributed for sure. I, I like the feel of the shaft too. Okay. Um, a little bit softer, um, and I'm you know it's very similar like to the ten side red yeah. that I currently game. So just felt familiar. So I think that also had a factor as well. Mm -hmm. But overall, I like the feel of it. Yeah, because, I mean, I think, you know, we, we went up a degree in loft. So that's 33 degrees loft. The first two were 32. So not a surprise that your height went up like 10 feet, I think it was. Yeah, you can yeah. see our launch angle went up. So, but yeah, and then we can talk about launch angle and things here too. But launch angle went up, you know, two and a half degrees uh, compared to the first two. So, and then you still gain distance. That, again, shows how well you're hitting the ball there, um, even though, you know, your smash stayed consistent despite more loft too. So... We'll go on P770 here and see how this thing kind of wraps up. That was the highest ball speed of the day. Oh, yeah. And now the new highest ball speed of the day. <laughs> you going to get to 100? I'm going to try. Yep. That was good. She's found the swing, ladies and gentlemen. She has found the swing. Okay. Well. Well, it still went out to 142 yards, but that was because of the knuckleball effect there. Yeah. That was just a bad swing by yours truly. Wow. All right, Jackie, P770. So this has been a recurring theme in testing. Either it's P790 or P770 from TaylorMade, whichever one it is. If you compare it to similar irons, it's probably going to go further, um, and it's going to have more ball speed. Whatever they do, you know, I know the speed foam technology, and, and in the most recent P790, it's the speed foam air. Whatever it is um, that they have implemented, the, whatever iteration of speed foam it is, it produces some speed. And yeah. so we saw that here. Again, P770 is 33 degrees of loft. So in the loft range of this test, it is higher, um, but still produced comfortably the highest ball speed, um, highest smash factor, and the most distance. Yeah. And then that spur circle is also very good. So give me your thoughts on how that felt. Um, you know, obviously, must have felt pretty darn good to be d destroying the golf ball the way you did. But... You know, in terms of actual feel at impact, did it? How would it compare to the other two? Because that is kind of a—it's a hollow body design there. It's built like a P790, so it should feel probably a little bit different than the other ones. Yeah, no, it definitely felt uh, more forgiving for okay. sure. Uh, but the look of it is—I love the look of it. I mean, it's yeah. sleek on the back, and then the top lines—you know, really nice as well. Definitely like. Just a tad bit thicker top line than say like the okay. T100S and uh, uh, Apex Pro, uh, but overall, you know, the thing that was interesting is like when I'm swinging, when I was swinging back, it almost felt like it was just like dropping. Like I knew back here that it was going to be a good shot if it was, or if it wasn't. So there was a confidence element that came into yeah. it, at least with that club. Yeah. So interesting because I mean clearly that there you were confident for a reason with the, the numbers here. So, I mean, looking at the dispersion, we've got a very kind of clear furthest up there. Uh, we could argue Apex Pro was, was straighter, mm -hmm. but you've got those two that were kind of dispersion wise, you know, in terms of the tightest ovals right up there. And then if we can go to 
the uh, numbers here, and we can, you know, I'll sort these by kind of the ball speed and whatnot, but I mean, we have a clear winner in ball speed, we have a clear winner carry distance, clear winner total distance, that's all P790. And your club speed is relatively similar across the board. You know, you're in the 73 to 74 range. It was just the P770 was so efficient. Um, and then we also noted height-wise how you jumped up on Apex Pro. Yeah. P770 was right there too. Well, full disclosure, this is going to be my new gamer. So it is. Yep, they're coming in February. Okay, so I actually didn't know that. Well, there yeah. you go. There and, you go. And so it, it was it between this and the Apex Pro actually. So um, yeah. Wow. So, I did. I, I mean, honest I'm not, to God, not, viewers I'm, did not know that that was the case. Yeah. So, uh, biggest reason for me like switching is honestly, you can like see the numbers. I'm getting a little bit more, um, as I've explained in other videos, like I like to draw the ball, I'm, mm -hmm. you know. So, the P770 gives me a little bit more confidence in knowing that, like, with some of the other, like, even with the Apex Pro, just very thin, which is a sleek looking club, but the confidence that I'd have through hitting more shots, just I have more with more of it with the P770. Okay. And just like I know I can get after it, and even if I miss hit, that it's gonna be yeah all right instead of well, maybe it's got to be nice to know and have this kind of validate your your initial yeah. fitting, right? Because I mean, uh, kind of a, almost an, in a way, almost a follow up fitting for you without having. Well, after yet, I hit that T100S, I was like, oh, no. Yeah, like, and then the Apex maybe Pro. Maybe I got to go back. <laughs> and then the Apex Pro was really tight yeah. version two, and then you're like, okay. But P770 delivered for you. You know, yeah. that's probably exactly the reason that you picked it with these numbers right here. Yeah. So very interesting stuff here. And, I again, that's it's very cool to see that that, you know, validates your fit and um, shows why P770 is, you know, going to be the club for you. But, uh, yeah, great numbers here. Again, P770 and P790 have always been very explosive. Uh, regardless of, you know, what you compare it against, it's usually going to stack up really well distance-wise. And then dispersion was great, too. I'll bring that up again, too. But, I mean, look at that. So um, this is that category, like we said, where I think you, you certainly fit into that category of people that are looking for more distance, but um, they really still want their focus to kind of be on control, shot making, things like that. Um, that's where this category, where it's, Largely gear, they got smaller club heads, yep. but there's just a little bit of juice in there to give you that distance. Yeah, I think, you know, when you take a look at all the other options that I could fit into, so to speak, yeah. I, I definitely could get a club in my hand that I'd hit farther, probably 10 or oh, 15 yeah. yards. But for me, I am a pretty good ball striker, so I want to be able to have something in my hand. I know I can work the ball and, and yeah. create different shots. So I'm okay with losing that distance, knowing that I'm going to have consistency. Right. So yeah, very yeah, it makes total sense, and you can see um, again why you picked P770 because yeah. it showed up in this test for you. So again, and we should note, you know, I, any other golfer that comes in might not get the same results, but in this test we did notice, and it's that trend of the tailor-made P770, P790 emerging as the furthest stayed true. Uh, some other great performers in this test as well. So we urge the golfers out there that are interested in any of these models to come in to second swing, uh, do a fitting for yourself figure out which of these irons is right for your game, and then one of our master fairs will set you up with you know, shaft, grip, everything else, uh, all the specs that you need to uh, optimize your iron game. So, Jackie, thank you for joining today, uh, hitting all the shots and giving your feedback. Really good performance, and it. awesome to see that it validates your fitting, too. Yeah, thanks for having me.